Welcome back. Look at the goodies. We got the jelly. Um, this is just a, another case of what Donut Shop World does so is the glaze. Look at that. That's that's crackling. Crackling. Look at it. Look at it. Boom. 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 Come on now. This is just a masterclass. It's an absolute clinic on how glaze should be done. Wow. So you already know how the glaze went in the sugar. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I gave the glaze an eight. Um, and I have to say, I think the nostalgia, looking back, the nostalgia did play a role. And I think I'm gonna have to bring it down to a seven and a half, but the sugar, the classic sugar, I'll get onto it later. I think it definitely deserves at least an eight. Um, and this jelly donut, um, let's try it. We got my coffee, black coffee, and you know, I got some oat milk this morning. You know, I was feeling a little luxurious, so um, here we go. Let's donut. Mm. Um, I already ate it, but it was like um, the hole was left open. So it was just injected in. The jelly is very nice. Mm. So you can see how soft and fluffy it is, right? And I think while the back doesn't look the best, it's definitely not um like cardboardy. Some of the donuts that are not um, both ways around. For example, uh, the sugar one is like, it has sugar on both sides, right? But if you imagine like a sprinkle donut or mm, like a jelly donut, when, when they don't have stuff on the bottom, sometimes they just, mm, they just don't put in the effort. They don't put effort in both sides. And I think this, even though it doesn't look the best, it's very soft and it complements the jelly donut. And the glaze is almost like a little bit, and the glaze was already pretty light, so I think it works well. Mm. I'm gonna go for a napkin, actually. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Eating a donut no bev is definitely it's definitely an arduous task. Mmm. Mmm. I'm gonna go in for a sip of the oat milk. Mmm. I think that's good for now. One more bite. Mm. Okay. The original glaze. So same deal. An absolute master class with the the glaze. I think uh, this one melted a little bit, but as you can see, it's still crackling. And look how soft it is. Just by holding it, you get these like indents. It's nice and soft. 
Let's hit him with the glaze. Pull. Yes. Wow. Wow. In terms of fluffiness, you know, Donut Shop West cannot be beat. That's, that's just what they're known for. It's, you know, you go to Donut Shop West, you sugar donut, look at this. Wow. You're getting a fluffy donut. Um, and that's what they excel at. But anyways, without further ado, glazed donut, a donut. If you hadn't had milk with a donut before, it doesn't even matter what type of milk. It can be like regular milk, uh, oat milk. It's like all the sugar and the glaze is like scattered around your mouth, like a, like a cave. And the milk just like comes in like a tsunami and then just washes it all together down your mouth and cleans it out, but gives you a nice um, fatty, uh, sugary, like, just finisher. Um, yeah, that glazed donut is pretty good. I have to take it back. I think it deserves an eight. I think I think it deserves an eight. Here we go with this sugar donut. Mmm. It's the sugar is layered enough, just that it's like it's like speckled. It's like it's like a fresh layer of powdered snow but it has just enough it's just enough texture that it's like it's getting to like it's getting to like sand crystals um that just dissolve in your mouth um, mm. there's that little texture it's like a powdery dissolve on the tongue it's like it's tingling it's like it's like fondling my tongue wait uh anyways i think the coffee as well with the sugar for sure I think the milk goes better with the glazed, just because it's like, the f it's more sugary, so the glazed. So when you when you complement that with the milk, it's just like double down the fattiness, the sugariness. Um, but uh, let's try some more oat milk. Definitely the glazed oat milk, the glazed oat milk wash is different. Let's try the jelly, jelly with the oat milk. Mm. Mm. It's, it's not as good because the jelly is like, it's adjacent, but it's not like directly in the path where it adds value with the oat milk. Um, whereas the glaze is like, the oat milk is just like boosting the power. Um, oh, the fresh glaze. Remind, reminder, I went at, um, I went at 4.30 this morning. They opened at four. The the, the brother-in-law, he's working all night from midnight, making the donuts. The, the mom and dad, um, 
they, they get in at like four and five in the morning to sell the donuts and eat the donuts. Um, and it was a busy morning. It was a busy morning. I got in at like 4.40 and they were just running around the shop, getting stuff done. You know, uh, I know I wanted to do like an interview with them to, to ask about the, the donut shop history, you know, but uh, they were just too busy this morning. So I didn't get some good donuts. But the, what I'm what I'm trying to say is like the early morning glaze is uh it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it. I'm gonna go back to sleep after this, but it's definitely worth waking up. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try something here. So the the mom the mom of the shop, her name is Christine. She's a half Cambodian. Um and a quick donut fact is donut fact. Okay. I'll fill that in later. I did it in post. I just can't get over how good this glaze is this morning. Okay, so my when I reviewed this place earlier, I gave the glaze an, an 8. Now I'm like tempted to give it an 8.5. But I just think, because you know, it's really good this morning, but we have to treat it consistently. I give it an 8. It's still an 8. Maybe I get it 8.5. I'll, I'll double check that. But if it's an 8.5, then it's 8.5, it's an 8, it's an 8, but keep it the same. The sugar, it's an 8, it's a solid 8. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And good look, the jelly, mm, we give it a 7. But it's a high 7, it's a high 7. I have to say, um, if you're eating a jelly donut, eat it first. Don't, don't eat it after you eat the other ones because... Uh, by then, you already have enough sugar. Um, yeah, the jelly is a good starter though. I would start with the jelly or the sugar. So do you guys know any mom and pop donut shops nearby you? Um, if you do, uh, let us know in the comments. And remember, check them out, you know? These families are, these families are grinding, you know? You, you don't see the work, but they got the, the brothers-in-laws in, in the donut shop, in the kitchen, baking the donuts. They're baking the donuts at midnight all the way to like five in the morning on sleep you know the, the store closes at two and and then they just go home and sleep uh you know yeah you, you obviously got your duncans when i was in new york there were duncans everywhere and you know i understand how it works but the mom and pop donut shop is it's definitely a treat and if you have one nearby you make sure you cherish that because the Moore Park Donut Shop West, I've lived here for 20 years. Uh, my parents have lived here for 30 years. Uh, and the Donut Shop West has been here the whole time. Um, whenever I come home from school, uh, Donut Shop West is the place that defines my city. It's where people are coming in at four in the morning, even at noon getting a donut, talking to the local Christine and George, the owners. And, you know, it's, it's just where everyone, everyone kind of meets together. It's a community hub. 
And that's why I think it's so special about the donut shops. Um, you know, so if you if you go to a donut shop and you don't know the person, but you see it's like a family owned restaurant, you see other people talking to the owner, just uh, let them know like, hey, how are you doing? How's your day? Just talk with them. And I'm sure that you'll you'll be able to have some interesting conversations. But anyways, I digress. Check out your donut, local donut shops. Um, let us know in the comments. And that's it for today's donutting. Thank you.